Here we go. Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a 1906 Hobart M cable that we've just uh, just completed relatively recently. It came out of the shop. It's right over there. Um, let's get a, a quick shot of the shop. Um, tons of pianos in there that, uh, that are most mostly people's family heirlooms that we're rebuilding. But we do we do lots of pianos as well, kind of in our in our downtime, which we haven't had much downtime lately because we've been so busy doing all these pianos for for people. But I guess that's a that's a good a good dilemma, I guess. Um, anyway, so this this piano turned out turned out very very nicely. We, we of course redid the, the finish with a with a black lacquer, um, just a very classy look, uh, kind of a satin kind of satin look, and, and it's, it's beautiful. A new new decal, and then and then all of these these brass brass touches, new knobs. Those pedals down there, beautiful shiny. Those are the original pedals from 1906, so 110 years old for this piano. Um, we uh, electroplated those, so that's uh, that's why they look so nice in spite of being 110 years old. Um, this this piano got the full the full uh, refurbishing. So that's a that's a very thorough thorough process. Come come look in here, with the exception of the hammers and dampers. The hammers and dampers are new. Everything else is what I would characterize as um, refurbished. Oh, and then I guess there are some other new parts in there as well. The bridle straps and the and the bushings, the keys, the sharps, the shanks, but. Uh, but everything else, like the strings and uh, most of the action parts, are original. Um, but they're in great shape. We've we've repinned, particularly we've done a lot of repinning throughout the action. But particularly the, the hammer flanges, which is which is the everything pivots on a pin, and so and so repinning that um, that's that's the real wear in in. A, in like what the, the part that's referred to as the hammer butt, that that uh, is in excellent condition. They they usually are, uh, except for the pinning. So we've, all of that pinning is new. Then the the bushings. The bushings keep the keep the keys in proper alignment. All of those are replaced. Uh, the trap work. Trap work is everything having to do with the pedals. So all the levers and mechanisms. All of that has been rebuilt. So everything from you know, it's dumb cosmetic stuff that doesn't matter. It's just a kind of a point of pride to, you know, making it look nice all the way to stuff that maybe does matter a little bit more, um, like like the felts and the leather and all of that. So, so get a shot of get my flashlight phone out so you can see it a little better. So uh, you can see what I'm talking about, where everything is just sanded down and and. I think we might have even lacquered some of these wooden parts just because. Um, but then, like you can see, the the felts here have been replaced, and the felts in the uh, the bushings for the pedals, those kinds of things, are all brand new. Since that's where the where the wear takes place. Okay, flashlight is still on. So anyway, that was in great condition. I would contend that it's in as good condition, very nearly as when it was brand new. And I actually, I, I, I actually prefer modern uh, hammers and modern dampers, which this piano, like I said a few minutes ago, has brand new modern hammers and dampers. And so, you, from that standpoint, it probably even I could probably make. The argument that, from my personal taste perspective, this piano has never been better, even when it was even when it was brand new, 110 years ago. Uh, of course, regulation. Regulation is everything from leveling the keys to ensuring that the distance that you depress the key is correct to ensuring that the dampers engage. Let's get a shot of the dampers again. You can see like the that. That damper is supposed to engage when that hammer is right about halfway to the string. You can see it lift, and I go all the way up. 
they all engage right there, right at the halfway mark. That those dampers start to lift. And then when I do the sustain pedal, you can see all of those dampers um, pretty much in lockstep. Uh, and then of course the, the let off. Let off is where it comes close to the string, comes to within an eighth of an inch of the string and then it pulls away. That's, that's one of the a dozen or so or more uh, steps of, of regulation. These hammers are obel hammers, which uh, actually just barely took a class from Norbert Obel, who's the uh, manufacturer of these in Germany, kind of in between uh, Frankfurt and Munich. He manufactures these hammers that, that of course, the uh, um, traditionally the, the mecca of piano making is Germany. And so they've got all their trade secrets to make the primo everything, including hammers. Um, so that's the that's the hammers that we have on there. If you're if you're interested in doing more research, Abel is spelled A B E L. If you wanted to research the type of type of hammer that is, very very high end hammer. A lot of people say uh, it's the best. in large part responsible for that warm, rich, big, full sound that you hear. check it out. Uh, 1497 South State is the address here in Orem. Or if you're if you're out of state, I've sold quite a few pianos to people out of state. It's, it's a lot easier a process than you might think. Um, and it's surprisingly affordable to move a six or seven hundred pound object, much more affordable than you might expect. So that's a that's a possibility as well. Um, and if you uh, if, if you are out of state, you can, you can absolutely purchase this with confidence that uh, it has been represented um, appropriately and, and will be trouble free. Also, I don't expect that these pianos will have any kind of issues, but I do offer a three-year warranty on, on, on these pianos in spite of you know, being 110 years old um, because we've been through them so thoroughly. It's almost as if, almost as if they're brand new. Um, so I, I don't expect there will be issues, and in fact, I essentially stake my, my reputation as a, as a piano expert on uh, the, the, the hope that there won't be any issues, but if that does arise, this is absolutely not an as-is kind of deal. Um, I'm very proud of my work. I'm very proud of the pianos that, that I put out and, and will absolutely stand behind it, back it up. Should there be a sticking key or a squeaking pedal or or any kind of issue like that. So call us here at the store, 801-701-0113. You can get a hold of Stacy. She will treat you very well. You'll be happy. Um, or you can, or you can uh, ask for me. I'm happy to um, talk about this piano or any of the other uh, many dozens and dozens of pianos that we have here as well. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>